Hi guys, today I'll be showing you this um, effect of a dynamic uh, rope that falls onto a collider with a bit of like physics and we we'll play with this in Typho so uh, let's get into it I won't be making this but making something a bit more fun like um, let's let's have it fall into a uh, say a a bowl or something and have those uh, ropes as a uh, spaghetti um, so I'll just quickly make a crappy bowl right now um, just some uh, surface uh, basically for for this to fall into um, uh, I'll um, with this, I'll put a compound object, um, select that, I'll create a subtract and add that. Um, ooh, uh, that created a hole down there, and I don't want that hole down there, so I'll push this sphere up a little bit. Uh, let's try this again and add the sphere in adding operands and yep that seems pretty good now we'll make um, our spaghetti strand by going into spline make a helix um, doesn't matter anywhere right now uh, we're just trying to mm, make the thing uh, I'll make it more uh, symmetrical um, if you want to see uh, the mesh easier you can check that to enable the viewport um, I'll, I'll X this uh, ball so you can see um, what the physics in Typhlo might um, affect that uh, in later stage but for now we just edit this helix for a little bit. Um, I'll make that like 12, radius 12, uh, probably a bit higher, something like 30, uh, probably less turn, so, ooh, so it's um, easier to see. Um, but yeah, now we'll just. Um, uh, I'll, I'll just disable this so that it's easier to see the particles in uh, Typhlo. I'll add a a Typhlo and open the editor. So now first thing first, um, because this is a helix, um, kind of a spline, we'll do a burst spline, um, pick the helix uh small dots are a bit hard to see so enable it as ticks uh probably change that into red or something so it's easier to see um with the burst blind i want these to be a bit closer to each other so i say one percent um drop it down to one percent and we what we essentially want to do is to combine like a bunch of sphere together to create that rope so i'll add a shape operator um, and change that to 3d and we can we can just get away with a low res sphere for now um, there's no need to to like really high quality simulation um and now um i'll change that to geometry so that you can see the sphere um they're a bit like loosely the gap between them is quite large so i'll go in here and increase the scale say 150 probably 160 tap larger you can even um drop down the percentage a little bit so that they're closer to each other um, it's it's just essentially help to um, 
for them to bind easier easier later on um, so with that now I'll add a um, phys uh, I'll add a physic shape um, which essentially will allow this thing to now fall so if you look into the, the viewport um, there now they will now after a while fall and breaks apart um, so what we want to do is because this is like a spaghetti strand uh, we don't want them to um, break apart so I'll add a physic bind uh, underneath um, that way uh, they stay together even after they they uh, they won't break as much um, after touching the ground or the collider um, I'll have this as glue um, for this simulation uh, unlike the other one um, which I left it as um, as joints so that um, it it's less likely to break um, because I want it to be more kind of like a rope but in in this case we kind of wanted to break off a little bit so that's fine as uh, to leave it as glue um, but we have to go down to um, proximity bind and change that to bind siblings that way these particles um, will be bind together uh, later on um, without the effect of any other um, you know f if a uh, physics operator um, leave that um, so it's isolated that's what I meant um, I'll, I'll just quickly hide the helix so it's less distracting um, but now we'll add a collision operator underneath and add this ball um, so if you uh, quickly look at this um, this thing will will fall right on top of the the box uh, and not uh, recognizing that uh, the the boolean part um, so what you want to do is change the hole type um, it's normally convex so if you say display hole you see the, the bounding box of um, this object that they they're having and where it's stopping so if you change that to say sphere these will be uh, determined by the sphere like right there so if you want like accuracy uh, I'll put it in mesh so as you can see now it drops right into the ball right there um, We'll, we'll change this view a little bit so it's easier to see um, now what we want to do is because these are like dropping they, they're, they're bouncing a little bit after they drop um, so essentially it feels like the, the physics is really strong um, I would go um, into the physics tab and uh, reduce that to probably minus 0.5 so that the fall looks like a bit smoother um, in addition to that I'll also add a um, a slow operator underneath to kind of slow down this this process making it a bit smoother uh, oops maybe you shouldn't drag that 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 high and then um, what the last thing we would add is a um, spline path operator in the orange right here um, that way it make a, a spline path um, 
and we'll we'll just save the project for now so to um, just for safekeeping uh, I don't want the, the file to crash because of this simulation it's pretty um, spaghetti uh, I don't know how to spell but I think that that would do I guess uh, I'll create a new object Ooh. That that's bad. Um, we'll just delete that. We we would have want to have it as physics binding, and I'll create new. So, with that we can hide our type flow, and we can see our, our our spaghetti right there. Um, so in in the type bind, uh, we go enable viewport to and then you see these gaps in between um, the uh, when they try to bind to each other between the sphere so if I were to um, do the, uh, to reduce that I would go to um, the physic physic bind and scroll down to the proximity bind and kind of reduce the binding distance uh, say I'll get it down to five arguably three that'll, that'll just do and then in the tie spline um, in the spline path I would scroll down to bindings and weld bindings and it's all smoothened out um and yeah that's basically the tutorial um so if you scroll there um, you see that it smoothly fall right into the ball so it's a it's a very perfect piece of noodle right there and that's all for this tutorial Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.